I'll be bringing out a little update on what's going on down at the Templar Armory. Good things still happening here, up to 61 wins to only 15 losses. Had a little bit of a rougher patch than normal down here. Started facing a little bit better of clans. Some of them had a little bit of an advantage. They came down to the wire. Difference was three stars up top on Town Hall 10s, which is what it comes down to with good clans. And we were on the wrong side of a couple of them, but still winning a lot of wars, doing an awesome job. So you can see the war log has a ton of green in it. And putting up near perfect wars every time that we spin it. And have had a few perfect wars lately. Had one nine days ago against GJ Assault. And I believe we had another one somewhere in here. Right there against Os Cachereros. And we just had another one. So they're doing an awesome job. Picking up a ton of three stars and doing sweet things. This war. We used 37 of our attacks, or 38 of our attacks, and picked up 23 stars, 100% destruction. And some of the attacks were Don Rocco had a six pack up top, taking down the one and two, started it all off for us. And Toe Tagger picked up one, John picked up one out of three. Doe got one, Bob got one, Fearless got two, Fear Swag got two. Rosie got two, Little Man got two, Landon got two, David got a six pack, Joe got one, Cockblocker got one, and Little John also got one. So, ton of three stars across the board, clearing the entire map against a pretty solid clan, and Giant Bubble had 99 war wins. We did have a little bit of advantage, but still always impressive to have a perfect war and we did it pretty early as you can see the war still going on I think it was done like six hours ago but I'm gonna do the recap now and bring you a little bit about Templar Armories show you what they're about still alright now I'll start it off by showing you some of the attacks from this one first one I'll show you is Don Rocco on the one He's going to come at this one with two golems, Valks, and some wizards. Earthquakes up into that core. Drops two golems towards the earthquake side. Hound in the CC. Ton of wizards take care of it. Drops in the Barb King. Heals up the Wizards and Heroes. Starts sending in some Valks. Loses a few around, but they'll come back. Sends in the rest up the core. Drops a Freeze on that second Inferno. Valks turn towards the Barb King and get into that core, rages them up. Actually freeze both Infernos with that freeze spell. Has some Valks coming around on the right side, the rest coming out through the core. Rages them up again as they come out and tearing through this base now. Just the defense is on the outer ring. Drops in a couple wizards to help take down those last cannons and help with cleanup. Pops the queen's ability. And down goes the last cannon. And Mr. Don Rocco is able to pick up the awesome three star on this one. Nice job. Next attack that I'm going to bring you is John here on the three. So, Town Hall 10 with one Inferno. 
starts John starts this one off with a queen walk on the left handed side. Opens it up with an earthquake in the core right away. Drops in the queen with the healers. Only two point defense is on her, so no issues there. She's got to step up and lure the enemy CC hound. Gonna rage up the healers and queen to help take care of that while the archer towers are locked on to the queen. Goes ahead and pops the queen's ability to help take care of those last lava pups. Queen's gonna keep walking. John's gonna start his golems and wizard deployment from six o'clock right at the inferno tower. Wall breaks in. Drops in the Valkyries, Barb King heals them up with that single Inferno, it goes down in a hurry. Rages them up in the core. Heals up the Valks a little bit as they leave the core. Queen's still walking around, Valks coming around the outside. Barb Kings with them with the Golems. Valk's coming out with the Barb King. Plenty of troops alive for these two remaining defenses. Rip through that and down goes the last archer tower with heroes full health. Pops the king's ability and picks up a very nice clutch three star to help secure this perfect war. Awesome job by John. Next attack that I'm going to show you is Rosie, our 10 on the 7. Rosie's kind of a 9.5, so it has an extra spell. Sends in the golems on the two guest corner pods. Wall breaks them in. Which is well done. Had some wizards behind them and had one golem for up the center. So comes at this one with a three golem attack. Going to jump in between all the golems to redirect them into the core. Sends in the heroes behind them. Enemy CC troops poisoned. Down goes the dragon, or loons, and now the dragon. Barb King locks on to the enemy royals. Starts the hog deployment. Down goes the enemy royals and uses a heal spell. On the hogs there. Drops another jump spell to get those golems moving through a little bit. Keeps the hogs coming around up top. Drops down another heal spell. Queen's coming around the bottom. Hogs coming around up top. Still golem and a few golemites. And still has four hogs, three wizards, and a heal spell in the pocket. So despite being a 9.5 attack strength, doesn't really use it so kind of comes at this one as a 
Town Hall 9 and still crushes it. So awesome job by Rosie. Picking up a three star here. Still has a ton of hogs alive in both heroes. Nice work. This attack is going to be Fear Swag on the 11. Fear Swag is going to come at this one with a Govaho. Lures the CC troops right away. And kind of uses a hog, or a golem, excuse me, to get them locked on while a few wizards behind take down that dragon and wizard. So it drops a poison right away and then drops that golem. Drag locks on and Fearsog does a nice job using the wizards and queen to take it down in a pretty quick hurry before the golem even gets too much damage done to it. Drops in the barking now. Enemy queen right outside right away. Meets her. Takes her down in a hurry too and hit a three giant bobs right away so that was pretty nice. And the hard work's pretty much done now and uses that jump spell to get those Valks moving through nicely heals them up in the core starts the hog deployment from 12 o'clock going clockwise heals up the Valks as they're exiting the core and drops in a few loons nice touch as this last air defense is about to go down and now has a ton of troops to finish this one off and a little bit of everything got some Valks, some wizards, some golems, a few hogs pops the queen's ability to help with cleanup and that's a wrap to that battle for a nice three star. Alright, the last battle that I'm going to show you is Cockblocker here on the 16. CB does a nice job of luring the enemy CC right away. Get that dragon in blue and out since he's coming at this one with a goho. Uh, has 24 archers here in the bag to help take care of it. Drops the poison spell on them right away. And just starts spreading out the archers. So the splash damage of them troops can't do too much to wizard, a group of wizards or a pack of archers. And is able to bring it down with not using a ton of army space, which is nice. Ball breaks that golem in. Sends in some wizards behind. Drops in the Barb King. And the rest of the wall breakers to get into that core open area. Loses the Golem around, but not going to be an issue on this one. Starts sending in the Hogs. Sends in the CC hogs and drops a poison on the perimeter defenses. Drops in another heal spell in that core there. Uses the Barking's Rage to keep taking out that outer perimeter. Keeps healing the hogs as they come around. There goes the last giant bombs. One defense remaining. Down that goes and hogs lock onto the barking. Has some archers for cleanup. They didn't have to use on the drag. Has some wizards. And it's a very nice three star attack. Town Hall 8 Goho, a 
always a viable strategy down at Town Hall 8 if you do have a Golem and level 4 Hogs. It's a really nice one with there only being 3 giant bombs. If you can find the one double, uh, you're going to be gold and it's almost always going to be a 3 star. So look into using that one if you're a higher level Town Hall 8. And nice job by CB executing it. So as you can see, good war. 60 stars, awesome job by Templar Armory. So it's about to wrap up. And we'll be spinning again. We have a ton of different levels of people who are in this clan. Um, Town Hall 11s, Town Hall 10s, Town Hall 9s, 9.5s, I Town Hall 8s, 7s. Just anyone who's still willing to learn and try new strategies and start taking their game to the next level so come on and check out Templar Armory it's a big clan getting up there for almost 40 members now and it's a lot of fun here so hope to see you all here